on their compliers. Compilers. On their well, algorithms, on their compliers to gain. Nope. A, I did it wrong. You said compliers. It's compilers. <laughs> this is just like that old couple that couldn't figure out what they were saying. What were they trying? To I do? don't know. Big buttery buns or something. We did it. <laughs> did it. And it only took one take. Just kidding. And welcome back to Buster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and board gamey things. Exactly. Trying to do it with more pep because everyone made fun of me. Yeah, yeah, more pep. We are here today to do a spotlight video, and I know what you're thinking, Jamie. You're not usually in the spotlight videos. I know I'm not. She intruded. I intruded. Awaken realms spotlight. Awaken realms light spotlight. Awaken realms light. Light spotlight. And that game, the game. There's like hair all over my face. The game that we are talking about today is... Tamashi, Chronicle of Ascend. And obviously I wanted to be a part of it because the box is pink and purple and I like that about it. It's very pretty. Yes. Now, this game, my friends, is a prototype. Indeed. It is a very, very prototype. It says very, right on the box. It's very prototype. What does it say, Jeff? Work in progress. It's a work in progress. Very prototype. Very prototype. So keep that in mind when you're taking a look at this mm -hmm. with us. With us as a team. So let's start by giving maybe a little bit of an overview of the game. Actually, the whole video is kind of like an overview, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we're but just gonna do a little a little spotlight. That's what we do here in Awaken Realm Spotlight, yeah, Jamie. Yeah, right. Okay, but I wanna give you like some of the flavor text. So here we here we go, again on my own. Can I read it? <laughs> Jamie takes over Awaken <laughs> Realm Spotlight. Yeah. Tamashi is a cyberpunk post-apocalyptic board game that puts two to four players into the not-so-distant future somewhere in Japan. But this beautiful country isn't what it used to be. Ascend, the overmighty AI, took over the whole country and threw out the last humans to live in hiding. You're not welcome here anymore. You're an outsider. Over the course of the game, players will struggle to survive and pursue their agendas. They might have to cooperate with other players or play against them, but they need to watch Watch every step they take. Every conflict, cooperation, or alliance might be a double-edged sword. Players will try to achieve their goals on a modular city map. They will find new locations, collect body augmentations, and even exchange bodies, fight against strong enemies, and search for important information needed to win the game. But fighting with powerful AIs requires virtual resources as well. Players will need to make good use of their data and launch special algorithms on their compilers to gain advantage over the Ascend. So this is a very, like, if you've ever played Cyberpunk the video game, which I understand, didn't get rave reviews, but that theme of, you know, this combination of like artificial intelligence with like biology and like technology intertwined with humans. There's a word for this that I'm not thinking of. Cyborgs. Yeah, sure. But I was thinking bio something. Bio, like what they did at the airport when they scanned our faces. Mm. What was that called? We're taking your bio. Biopsy. Mm. It's not that. I'm just it's kidding. It's not that. Bio. Anywho, it's really cool because like your character can get body augmentations, as Jamie mentioned, to like upgrade and like all of this technology becomes part of your character and mm. very future dystopian-esque. And there's this rogue AI that you're fighting. It's very, very, very cool thematically. Number one, cyberpunk is always cool, but cyberpunk mm. in Japan, mm -hmm. even cooler. Agreed. Yes. It's very spacey. It's not yeah. in space, but it gives me those vibes. Gives you, it's the pink and the purple. I think it is. Pink and the purple always makes me think of like space, space and yes. Yeah. So basically, with this game, there's a ton of different mechanics. Every scenario, so you're going to be given different scenarios to set up. Each has different objectives and goals, and some are done cooperatively, and some are done. Competitively. Exactly. That's the opposite of cooperative. So as you're going through, you're doing your actions, you're moving through these tiles, and when you land on a new tile, you're going to flip it over, and then each tile is a different location. Mm -hmm. So you're you're shuffling them around. You don't know which location is in which space, mm -hmm. so you don't know where you're going to land. And like I said, each location does a different thing, so it's going to change up the game every time that you play. There are certain locations that, remember when Jeff said that you can augment your body? Well, you can literally like change bodies. Mm -hmm. It's like... Upgrades and stuff. Yeah, I almost wanted to say meat suit, but I didn't want to say it. Bionic! That was the word I was Bionic. thinking of. Bionic! Not meat suit. Ugh. 
Anyways. Yeah, you can get rid of your meat suit. Exactly. So you're going to go, you're going to change your bodies. But in order to do different things, we mentioned before, there's things called algorithms. So a big part of this game, you've got like this little thing on your... Compiler. A compiler. And you're going to be placing different like bits into your compiler in order to form an algorithm. So one of the moves you can do is to move those bits and they have a more thematic name, but right now I'm calling them bits mm -hmm. in order to make certain patterns to unlock different things that you're able to do, whether it's gain shields or gain ways to get viruses because viruses in this game is actually good Yeah, because you're a hacker. Yep. You want to hack, do viruses. You want to hack Ascend, the AI. Exactly. The ov all almighty. The almighty uh, AI. AI overlord Ascend. Ascend. Exactly. <laughs> this game also has bag building. So those little bits that you're putting on your compiler you're going to be gaining those you're going to be discarding them maybe removing them from the game so one of the first things that you do is actually you go into the bag boop, you draw out some things boop, boop, and mm -hmm. you put them on all the open spaces on your compiler and then you start moving them around to do different things so like there's a lot going on so it's scenario based there's bag building there's mm -hmm. like tile revealing upgrading and there's just a, there's a lot going on but it's not an overly complicated game mm -hmm. once you kind of get the mechanics and you play it you're golden 100 mm -hmm. i'll briefly talk about miniatures because that's what you're all here for <laughs> they're very beautiful they're sculpted incredibly well in typical wake and realms fashion they're not used like basically they're just kind of a, i wouldn't say a placeholder but you know you're kind of just manipulating like your dude around those spaces so you know it's like, not miniature heavy i guess is what i'm trying to say it's just not miniature heavy like typical wake and realms fair is like nemesis and that sort yeah. of thing you know it's not like big baddies and stuff which is interesting and i'll be interested to see the final because there are enemies and there is combat in this game yeah so so that's there, a part of it but we don't be. have mm -hmm. in our prototype we don't have any miniature miniatures that mm -hmm. would be for the the baddies or the bosses or the mean people or whatever yep. and i will mention like we keep saying awake in realms light I, I i don't think this is this is light for awake in realms yeah i don't think it's light as in like it's definitely the whole hobby no it wouldn't be an intro level game but it would be a good intro to other awake in realms games like yeah, if you agreed. are a little bit nervous to get into something like nemesis mm -hmm. because it's very overwhelming yes i think this could be a good place to start it's, it's got a lot of the same i mechanics. would put it in terms of the entire uh, hobby spectrum i would put it like light medium yeah you know that that sort of thing i think the components are fantastic uh, even for a, a I, I don't know where this is in terms of the prototype like it's a work in spectrum progress. the dice are beautiful the tiles are beautiful the miniatures are beautiful the artwork's incredible it does have recessed player boards the quality is going to be typical awaken realms quality in my opinion i uh I'm a bit biased because I do love Awaken Realm stuff, mm -hmm. but everything that I've seen in this prototype points towards the fact that it seems like, you know, this is going to be some quality, quality components in this. Yes. I'm excited to see the final production. I think a lot of people are going to like this. And like I said, mm -hmm. I mean, the theme is super cool. The components are going to be high, like, you know, the components are going to be good. It's Awaken Realms. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great production. And I think the theme is different yeah. for me anyways yeah. we don't have any games with this specific type of theme i don't even know if we have any other cyberpunk games mm -hmm. no so i think it's really unique they've i think dipped into a bunch of different mechanics it's not going to be the bag builder you go towards it's not going to be you know the exploration game that you go towards but i think there's a little bit of everything there's a bit of there's so many little like puzzles that's going on with your Hello. with your compiler mm -hmm. and which locations to go to and you know which body augmentations to take and it's got a bit of a campaign element you know yep. where you are progressing through scenarios mm -hmm. so we only have i think three, three yeah we scenarios. have the prologue and yeah. then a cooperative and a competitive. So then I, I do believe there's going to be 10 total yeah. in the game. It's very campaign in that way where- you Choose your own adventure. Yeah, almost. you're gonna maybe go in one direction and that's going to benefit or maybe to your detriment, you're not sure. And you're just gonna kind of go through this campaign. And I do believe like, it's not legacy where you can't do it again. You know, maybe you go a certain path and you're like, oh, Make I a wonder- a different decision. You know, I wonder what, what else is in this world, so. Everybody really, loves a side quest. It reminds me a little bit of- like a video game. Yeah, like like RPG stuff. Yeah. You know, where you are leveling up your character. Mm -hmm. And there's like certain 
certain sections where you have to like unlock a code in order to do certain things. Like there's a lot going on in this game and it's very, very cool. There is also a prologue scenario in this game, which is kind of like a tutorial, which kind of walks you through how things work. It like, I really enjoy that games are starting to do that where it just kind of like, it eases you into things. It's like video game style. And it shows you how to play. Remove some of the hurdles and burden of, you know, learning a ton, tons of rules. Up and figuring out every little nuance and then playing a game like the the prologue will walk you through stuff and it'll introduce you to different mechanics and be mm -hmm. like this is how this does so that is our spotlight on tamashi chronicle of ascend from awaken realms light we mm -hmm. will put all of the information down below for you it will be coming to game found soon approximately two days mm -hmm. so monday correct monday we did the math right I think we did the There's math, a right? countdown. Sometimes I struggle. There is a page on GameFound where you can follow, and yeah. then once it goes live, you'll get all those updates and 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 that sort of thing. So. And you'll get so much more information once the GameFound page mm -hmm. goes live, because obviously they're going to go through and show you the components and all mm -hmm. of the extra mm -hmm. goodies mm -hmm. that you can get. So definitely follow it if it's something that you're interested in. Yep. If you're interested in buying board games, obviously if you want to get this one, you're going to have to go through GameFound. But other games that are already out, you can start by checking your friendly local gaming store. And for us here in Halifax. That is the boardroom game cafe. It heckin' is. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye. Later it is. Yeah, you're peeing me off. What else is new? What else is new? Suck it up. I look disgusting. I look disgust o barco. What literally looked like. A loft troll. And guess what, baby? I'm here too. You missed it. What? You said you're supposed to say I'm Jamie. We don't do that anymore. We don't? We haven't done that in forever. I'm taking over your spotlight. Yeah. How is it? Oh my god! What? I left the lights on, Jeff. What? I left all the lights on. I forgot to set the mood. I can't read that. Isn't what it was anymore. Isn't no. what it used to be. They might have to cooperate with each Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh, that sounded weird. Hi. Uh. <laughs> Where was I? Jamie taking over Awaken Realm Spotlight. Bam, 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 bam. So we. Show. Show. So definitely keep your eyes. Do we know when? On the prize. All right. Cool. <laughs> Cut. All right. Cool. So. It's all about that base. <laughs>